Yo, it's for one on. New to the YouTube game. I got another ask for y'all today. Yo, man, the NBA schedule dropped today. We're gonna react to some of those these uh NBA schedules are uh, that got dropped today, especially my Mavericks. So uh let's get to it. Stop with a doubleheader on Wednesday, October 19th, as the New York Knicks and new acquisition Jalen Brunson visit the Memphis mm -hmm. Grizzlies and John Moran at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Then the Phoenix Suns and Devin Booker host the Dallas Mavericks and Luka Doncic at 10 p.m. Yes, Eastern sir. time in an exclusive telecast. But before we dive in further to the schedule, Malika didn't go too far because she is here covering breaking news. Take I don't care about breaking news. LeBron James signed a two-year deal, ninety-seven million dollars. I don't care. It's got nothing to do with my Mavericks. But I'm, you know, I'm not gonna stop in my videos. But for this particular video, I'm going to do it today because I'm kind of want to re talk about it. But this is the, the week one. I mean, the opening week of the NBA games are really interesting. We got the Sixers versus Boston. We got the the battle of the LA on. On, on the 20th, then we got the Lakers and the Warriors on 18th. That's gonna be a pretty good week right there. Then you got the 19th with uh with uh the, my mask taking on the Suns, which is, of course, you know, that's gonna be that's gonna be finished, but that's gonna be really good. And, and I think that's Barrett's opening game. That's Barrett's opening the season against the Phoenix Suns, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh then we got the Rematch of the war, uh, the Warriors and the Nuggets. That should be somewhat interesting. Then we got the Boston and Miami. We got the Knicks and and uh, in the Memphis. So over the week looks really, really good. Uh, right now, when you really look at it right here, you know the first four, five, first week or so, it just you, you just can't. If you're an NBA fan, you're excited for some of these uh these matchups early in the season. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to because I'm not watching all of it because it's 31 minutes. Uh, we're not doing that. Uh, let's see what we're we gonna do here. I don't care what CBS have to say. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go to the panel and see what they got to say about some of these national games. Check the love. Name on the back, too. Oh, I didn't. I missed that. We're gonna have to show that a little bit later. But let's get to these games, y'all, because this season's slate features 100 primetime matchups showcased on ESPN and ABC. This includes 18 appearances by Steph and the Warriors and mm. 16 each for Tatum and the Celtics and LeBron James and the Lakers. Let's take a look at some of the games that caught our eyes. All right, if you look at this, it's gonna be so much fun. First on October 21st, it's the first rematch of last season's Eastern Conference Finals between the Celtics and the Heat in Miami. Mm, Next, like say, a rematch good. of last season's first round, two of the best young stars in the game squaring off as Anthony Edwards. Oh, yeah. This is John Moran and the Grizzlies on November 11th. And of course, we oh, have the King visiting the now four-time champion Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. They will play February 11th in the Ooh. Bay. And lastly, we have a star-studded matchup between the Sixers and the Bucks. Embiid and Giannis Africa will square off okay. in Milwaukee on March 4th. Let's also take a look at 10 Saturday primetime games on the schedule, starting with a finals rematch between the Celtics and the Warriors on December Yo. 10th, and a triple header on January 28th. A lot of great games. Hold on, we gotta pause it. Uh, uh, the Mavericks play the Warriors uh, next year, February 4th. That's a national game. Um, I don't know if the Mavericks played before that, before that. Uh, I'm pretty sure they do, but that's a national game. That's gonna be a good one. Uh, they the Lakers and Celtics. That's gonna be good on national TV. Man, they want lying about these Warriors. They they on here like what one, two, three, four, four times on here already. Got the got a lot of the Bucks. Um, got one Knicks. Got a Sixers by three times. So. Yeah, but I like the, you know, this is a good match. This is a good national TV game, sir. I had to agree. You heard it was a hundo of them. So I'm back here with Jalen, Matt, and Big Perk, and I'll start with you, Jalen. As a former player, which all of you guys are, let's be real here, uh, do national TV games really make a big difference in your motivation for this? Yes, we already know it does. Yes, they, they always say that all the time, so we don't care. So we're going to move all the way down. Don't care about the Lakers. Uh, care, don't care about the Brooklyn Nets. I really don't. 
Uh, got nothing to do with my Mavericks. Uh, let's see. Where are we going? We're going to go right back quick. Right, right, right. We're going to come on back. Come on. Okay, there we go. Let's get started. Three to a new one. Luca taking on Devin Booker. I like that next gen. They square off for the Ooh. first time on October 19th, Four the times, day after, yeah. on ESPN. Yeah. Now, how about one and two in the MVP voting for the last two seasons? Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid match up twice. The first time yep. on ESPN on January 28th. Now, two of the best two-way players in the NBA, Anthony Davis and Giannis Antetokounmpo, will first play on ESPN on December 2nd. Mm. So many great matchups. So I don't let's know about that one. <laughs> the best two-way players in the NBA. <laughs> Again, is one. I don't know about Anthony Davis. You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to show the big man some love. I'm going with Jokic and MB. We're talking about a one and MB who led the league in scoring last year, averaging 30. Plus, and then we're looking at the two-time MVP and uh, Jokic. Look, when those two guys match up against each other, Ooh. they take it personal. Yeah, it's all Ooh. love after the game, but they guard each other. They go at each other. I'm showing the big man some love. I'm looking at Jokic. I want to see Jokic and then B go to work. Okay. I mean, all these matchups are amazing, and obviously it's going to be a great season. Uh, but I'm looking at something a little different. I want to see Giannis and Zion. We only got to get him twice. I hope they're both healthy. But Giannis has the, obviously that combination of size, speed, and strength, which is unmatched, except for me, to, except this one young kid right here. I think he has the size, the speed, and the athleticism. So I would love to see these two really go at it. Obviously, Giannis is everything that I think Zion should aspire to be in his own way. A finals MVP, a champion, an MVP, and someone who's been able to lead a small market team to the promised land. So I'm definitely looking forward to this matchup this season. Hopefully, they're both healthy both games. So the changing of the guard, lady and gentlemen, is what I'm looking for. Yes, yeah, Steph won it this year, but LeBron didn't make it. Kawhi was injured. KD lost in the first round. It's all about Luka and Ja. You know this, Perk. Luka versus Ja. You see what the Mavs have done this offseason? Uh -huh. Yes, they're going to lose Brunson, but they continue to add to their roster. Both of those guys are going to continue to catapult themselves into the MVP category. It's likely one of these guys will be MVP this season. Ooh. So that's the matchup I'm looking for. Okay, y'all. I did my job. We talked. Wow. Okay. Uh, I like what Jalen had to say. <laughs> of course, there's a map, man. Ja, yeah, Ja could be in the MVP uh, conversation. Uh, he can stay healthy. Uh, which he's really known for doing pretty well, mostly. Uh, but this is a good matchup. A bead and, and Joker and Guinness and Zion and Luca and Ja. Which Luca and Ja's in the same division. So, yeah, that's going to be you're gonna get four prime matches with that. Uh, but, yeah, man, I, I like their choices. You know, you know, it's going to be an interesting season. Uh, the Mavericks, uh, the return of... Uh, Jalen Brunson's on the 27th, December 27th, two days after Christmas. So, the Mavs get to face a former uh, teammate, uh, you know, at, right after Christmas. So, uh, I like the event schedule. I like the way things presented itself. I like opening week. Opening week will be excited. Christmas Day was excited. No Clippers. Um, not sure why Clippers wasn't on, a, on, that, on that schedule at some point. But I thought they should have. I don't have to be the Lakers because I'm on people that care about LA versus LA is LA people. Most of those in the nation don't care. <laughs> uh, um, but outside of that, um, I thought Christmas games was pretty put a uh, put a straight. And we said as a matter of fact, we said it last year that Luke was going to map Luke and the Mavericks are going to be in Christmas game moving forward for now on. Um, and that's what's been going on. It's gonna continue going that way, as long as you know the man look as its partners. Uh, but anyway, man, I, I'm excited, man, for the EBA season. I can't wait. Uh, we 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 what, we less what about a month, a little month and a half away for at least pre preseason games or something like that. Anyway, yeah, we, we're ready to go. Anyway, that's your boy War Bomb. We're reacting to the eBay schedule got dropped today. Uh, I, I like it. And like, subscribe, and my out. Go Mavs.